Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching jQuery tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we are going to learn about jQuery, a fast, small and feature rich JavaScript library. All right, so before we start writing any jQuery, it is important that we have some basic knowledge of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now, you can start learning jQuery even if you don't have any knowledge of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But if you really want to understand how things work, I will suggest you to check those three topics before starting jQuery. If you are not familiar with these three topics, then you can watch the tutorial series of HTML, CSS and JavaScript, which I created earlier. And it is there on my YouTube channel. And guys, all the code that we are going to write in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. And all the notes related to this tutorial series will be there on my website, dyclassroom.com. I will give all the important links in the video description. So please check that out. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe my channel and click on that bell icon so that you will not miss any update whenever I upload a new video. All right, guys. So what is jQuery? Well, jQuery is a fast, small and feature rich JavaScript library. And jQuery is not a new language. It is just JavaScript under the hood. And the amazing thing about jQuery is that it provides us with methods that we can use to interact with our web page and change the DOM. We'll learn more about DOM in the later part of this tutorial series. So don't worry. All right. So why do we need jQuery? Well, we can do the same task using plain vanilla JavaScript, but jQuery makes the task easier. For example, let's say if we have an HTML element in our page having ID sample dash LM. So if we are using JavaScript, then if we want to select that element by ID, we have to write document dot get element by ID and within double quotes or single quotes, we have to pass the value of that ID that is sample dash LM. Now, if you want to solve the same problem using jQuery, all we have to do is write dollar sign and within double quotes or single quotes, we have to pass the value of the ID and for ID, we use the hash and then the value that is sample dash LM. So this is plain JavaScript and this is jQuery. They both are doing the same task that is selecting an element by ID. Similarly, if we want to send and fetch data from a server, we can do it using plain JavaScript XHR request that is XML HTTP request. Or if we use jQuery, then we can solve the same problem using dollar dot Ajax method. So if you are using the XHR request APIs of plain JavaScript, then it will be a little complex. But if we use jQuery's Ajax method, it will reduce the size of the code and it will be far easier to write. But they both will solve the same problem and will give you the same result. It's just that in plain JavaScript, we have to write too many codes. In jQuery, we'll get methods and APIs that will do the work for us and will get the job done far easier. Now, in order to use jQuery in our HTML page or in our project, we have to first download jQuery. So you can download jQuery from their official website, which is jQuery.com. And you can click on this download jQuery button. At the time of making this video, the current version of jQuery is version 3.2.1. So if you're watching this video in the future, this version may change to let's say four or five. So if you click on this button, it will take you to the download page of the jQuery website. And there are different versions of jQuery available. So production version, which will be a minified version 3.2.1. Then you have uncompressed for development purpose, jQuery 3.2.1. Now, if you are using node package manager or NPM, 
then you can open your terminal and write npm install jquery and it will install the package in your project inside the node modules directory and you can also use bower to install and download jquery in your project and you will get that jquery file inside your bower components directory now we can also use older versions and we can take help of cdns and popular cdns are google cdn microsoft cdn so this is developers.google.com and it's a google cdn for jquery so we can use this script and include it in our html file to get jquery version 3.2.1 it's a minified version so it will load faster similarly you can download or you can fetch version 2 that is 2.2.4 but for this tutorial series i'll be using version 1.12.4 so you can use any of the three script in your project to fetch jquery from google cdn or if you want you can also get jquery from jquery cdn and under jquery core you can see there is jquery 3.x you get the uncompressed version you get the minified version Similarly, you have jQuery 2.x and jQuery 1.x. So in this tutorial series, I'm using jQuery core 1.12.4, the minified version. And I have downloaded this on my desktop. All right, so our first task is to create a project folder. And for this tutorial series, I'll be creating a project folder and I will name it jQuery-project. And inside that project folder, I will create a JS folder, which will contain all the JavaScript file. And inside the JS folder, I will include the jQuery.min.js file. And inside the jQuery-project folder, I will create an index.html file. You can ignore this license and readme.md files. These are related to the GitHub repository that I created for this project. So guys, let's go ahead and create a new project folder and I will name it jQuery-project. Now I'll open this project folder and I will create inside the project folder a JS folder and I will copy this jQuery.min.js file which I downloaded earlier inside the JS folder. And now I'll open this project folder in Sublime Text. Now please note you can use any text editor or ID that you enjoy using. In this tutorial series I'm using Sublime Text. Now, if you're interested, you can use other text editors like Atom or Brackets to write your jQuery projects. You can also use Sublime Text and you can also use Notepad++. And if you want to use IDE, then you can use either Eclipse, NetBeans, or you can also use WebStorm. I'll give the links of the text editors and IDEs in the video description. All right, so we have opened jQuery-project folder in Sublime Text. And inside the project folder, we have the JS folder, which contains jQuery.min.js file. And now inside the jQuery-project folder, we'll create an index.html file. And inside this index.html file, we'll write the following HTML code. So we have the doc type HTML, opening and closing HTML tag, opening and closing head tag. And we have set the title for this page to index page. And we have the opening and closing body tag. Now, in order to include this jQuery.min.js file in our index page, we'll use the script tag and we'll set the SRC to JS 
slash jquery dot min dot js. Now we'll save this file and open this index.html file in Chrome. So index.html file. We'll also open the dev tool. So we'll go to view developer and we'll select the dev tools and we'll go to the console tab and it is empty. That means we don't have any error. Now, if we switch to the sources tab, we can see we have included jquery.min.js file from our local JavaScript or JS directory. And we have this index.html file. Now we can also use CDN to get the jQuery file in our index.html file. So for that, all we have to do is copy any of the three snippets and go back to our index.html file and replace this or I'll come in this and paste the link of the jquery.min.js file from the CDN. So this will fetch jquery version 1.12.4 from Google CDN. So now if we save the file, go back to Chrome and open the index page. And now if we reload and check the console tab, we don't have any error. And if we go back to sources, we can see that we are now fetching jQuery version 1.12.4 from ajax.googleapis.com. That is, we are fetching it from their CDN. We can also use jQuery from jQuery CDN. So if we want to use this jQuery core 1.12.4, the minified version, so we'll click on this and we'll copy this script. And all we have to do is go back to our code and I'll come in this. And paste it. So now we are fetching jQuery 1.12.4, the minified version from code.jquery.com. So from jQuery CDN. So now if we save the file, go back to Chrome and open the index page and reload. This time we can see now we are fetching jQuery 1.12.4 from code.jquery.com jquery.com that is from jquery cdn all right guys so we have seen two ways of including the jquery file inside our html file so we can either use the jquery file which is stored inside the js folder and that is in our local system or we can use the jquery file from a cdn that is from a google cdn or from a jquery cdn now in this tutorial series, I'll be using the jQuery file that I have inside the JS folder. So I'll uncomment this and I will comment this. So now if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload. We are using the jQuery file, which is inside the JS folder. Alright guys, this brings us to the end of this video. I'll put the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com and all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. And all the important links will be given in the video description, so please check that out. And guys, if you find this video interesting, then please like this video. And please guys, subscribe my channel if you haven't already and click on that bell icon so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. And like always, 
Stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.